After Zolf's little episode, Kit sets off in search of shards. First stop, Jaws and Bog. You'll get lost in that bog, I told the kid, and I won't be able to guide you back. Hello and welcome back to It's Mac Compatible. We're going to be looking at Bastion. This is a truly beautiful game. Its colourful palette draws you into a mystical world. Everything glows. The desaturation then to turn back up the colour, going between the two, really works to doing flashback to the past and then returning to the present. Or if you get hit by a poisonous mushroom, everything becomes really vivid. Definitely the art style is the main draw of this game. It does get a little dungeon crawly, but not to a great degree. Mechanics and enemies are simple and easy enough to understand. There's a good variety of weapons to master and plenty of options to upgrade them. I love the Team Fortress 2 vibe that you get. It has classic upgraded weapon swap mechanics that you've seen before, but if it's not broken, don't fix it. Everything has a steampunk-esque feel mixed in with magic. Things are powered by crystals and you drink potions. Entire levels float in the sky, but when you you fire pistols and rifles and you feel like a gunslinger in the wild west trying to tame nature quite often. So this developer, Super Giant Games, are the same company that made Transistor as well. Uh, both Bastion and Transistor have their soundtracks on vinyl as well as Amazon Music, so that tells you all you need to know about how good they are. Um, this is 11.39 on Steam right now, so why not go and pick it up, it is definitely worth that price. I've been Kel John Ironfist. Take care and see you online.